What's going on guys, this is Alex at the Subnautics and no, do not adjust your screens. You are looking at a gateway laptop, a brand new one in 2020 running Windows 10. Yes, that is right. A little background about this laptop is I got it at Walmart and is sold exclusively at Walmart. And no, gateway isn't the same gateway you remember, although I do appreciate the cow logo and also the cow boxing. But basically, Gateway sold its rights to Acer, and Acer in turn licensed this out to a Chinese company called Evu. Uh, you probably heard of Evu because we did a gaming um, laptop review of Evu earlier this year, and I really appreciated that. Um, and also, you know, they're basically like a spiritual successor to Overpowered brand on um, Walmart. So Walmart is selling this thing, and the reason why this is interesting is it uses a 10th gen intel core i5 processor it's the uh, up to 3.6 gigahertz model 256 gigabytes uh of a solid state drive and also 16 gigabytes of ram and that's a big one 16 gigabytes of ram built into this laptop but uh back in the 2000s when gateway was really running um the P the pc laptop space um, Gateway was a huge brand for enterprises and businesses, and we still have some of that in our lab running the uh, older programs because Windows 10 sucks on uh, some of the older programs. So Gateway is still beloved among a lot of my coworkers. And so, oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Gateway's logo right dab in the center. I'm used to a glossy Gateway. Uh, we still have one in the lab that I use almost daily, but uh, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. It is a matte one. What else is in the box here? Gateway paperwork. Uh, once again, like I never had a gateway back in the in in the uh, in the two thousands, so I don't know what the packaging was like. But I do know they had this cow logo, so I do appreciate that. Once again, I really love how um, Evu's parent company or or whoever is producing this actually went. If you're gonna license it from Acer, you might as well use every part of that license, include including using that old box color and all that. Even the paperwork has similarities to the old days which i absolutely appreciate so there you go that's the paperwork there's nothing we need to look at here all right let's take a look at the power uh source the power brick here so this is a power brick that is a proprietary charging um port so the gateway uses uses a proprietary charging port however there is usb-c here which is great and on Walmart's website, it says it's data transfer only. I don't think that's true. So right now, I'm actually going to plug in a USB-C cable uh, with a power brick on, and let's see if it charges. And as you can see, it actually has the, uh, has the yeah, has the icon. It looks like it's charging. So but let's take a look at the laptop right now, because this is Gateway. And uh, it's not really Gateway. I, I actually expect this to be more like Evu and not the gaming laptop Evus, which actually were built really decently. Uh, Evu actually makes some like consumer level business laptops and it's a little hollow. It's nice and smooth at the top though. I mean, this isn't like fully plastic. It's plastic on the bottom. At the top, it is like a smooth, cool aluminum finish. Um, so I do like that. And I love the Gateway logo there. And here we go. We have the keyboard and also the trackpad with the Gateway logo in the corner. Okay, so uh, it feels a little cheap, right? I, I've used Walmart laptops in this price range. And I feel like this is very consistent. So if you bought a Evu laptop with similar specs uh, last year, you probably had something like this. This is very similar. Or kind of like Chewy too. Like Chewy laptops feel kind of like this. So... Very similar in that price range. Don't expect any premium feeling thing. Like this is just magically uh, the one plus of laptops. It's not. All right, now let's take a look at the ports on this. There's a lot of ports here. So there are two USB 3.0A ports. There's a type C port. Once again, Walmart says it's data transfer only. I'm not too sure about that. There's a headphone jack. And also uh, there is a micro SD card slot. And also a built-in fingerprint scanner for Windows uh, Hello, which is also nice. And on the bottom, we do have air vents because this uses a Core i5 processor. So this uses fans. And uh, you see the feet here. And the bottom, once again, this is plastic. So it does feel a little different from the top uh, lid. So one thing cool about this laptop is there looks like there's a door here with a empty slot. I believe this is an M.2 slot for additional 
uh, storage. You can actually put additional SSD storage, a stick of SSD in here, and you can expand your storage, which is always nice. This is a throwback to the old days where almost every single laptop had it. And it's kind of rare now, especially on a laptop that has the name Slim in it. Most of these Slim laptops have unibodies and things like that. So it's kind of nice that you can open this up and put an extra stick in there. All right, we have the laptop all set up and ready to go, but let's take a like a tour of this laptop and just see how it feels, right? So it doesn't think pass the one finger test, so we can't get that up there. Um, Windows Hello seems to work pretty good, so I programmed my finger there and it just lodged it in. The it, the uh, fingerprint scanner is located on the left top left corner of the trackpad, so I think that uh, actually works pretty well. And let's see, I'm using the wrong fingers and it doesn't recognize it. All right, kind of cool that there's a cow wallpaper pre-installed here. So uh, they're really, really going hardcore at this uh, intellectual property stuff. Trackpad, um, it doesn't, it's not, how do I explain this? I feel like it's a little behind. It feels like it's a little not as responsive as I would like it to be. Um, once again, uh, aside from the feeling, right, it does feel a little cheap. It's a plasticky, clicky trackpad. Okay, I want to talk about the screen right now. So the screen is not a touchscreen, of course. <laughs> this is not going to be a touchscreen at this price point. Uh, but it is a 14.1 inch display and it's a full 1080p display. So, I mean, the viewing angles look pretty good. And, uh, you know, for something like this, I, I, I think it looks fine. It's an LCD IPS display. So, I think the colors are a little muted, but it, I mean, come on, $400, $400 at Walmart, I'm okay with this. You can you can do what you need to do, and I think it'll look fine. So in my full review, of course, I'm going to tell you guys how this performs in terms of speeds and stuff like that, and how a laptop should perform if it matches what we need to do in 2020, to either play a little bit of games here, uh, a couple of documents open, a couple of programs, and, and stuff like that. So I'm expecting similar stuff to what I review with the Chewy. I'll have a link above. Uh, you can watch that video, but it's around the same price point, and I guess it's kind of like that. It feels kind of like that, except this has a gateway logo on it, but don't get this confused. It really is kind of like a Chinese um, laptop here, which is with a nostalgic feel, but I think it looks good. I think it looks nice. It doesn't feel too bad in the hands. I mean, like this looks like a decent laptop with initial impressions here, so... Uh, I'm Alex at The Sypnotics. Be sure to subscribe and follow us at Sypnotech on our social media and check out our website, The Sypnotics. We're going to be uh, checking this and also other laptops and technology things out. So I'll see you guys in my full review. So the other day I went to the market and I saw a bunch of people with their iPhones just checking their grocery list. And I told them, hey, you should subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>